Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm Megan Demori, and I'm with Comic Book Resources. Uh, and don't let the name fool you because I read all of these books when I was a kid. So <laughs> that's, <laughs> I am very, that's great. Yes, I'm very excited to be here today. Um, so I want to, Anthony, I wanted to start out with a question for you, because obviously you've been living with these characters for more than 20 years at this point. So tell me, what made Otto the, like, perfect for the role of Alex Ryder? I can tell you, Megan, that we looked at 650 kids from all over the United Kingdom, from drama schools, from ordinary schools, from theatre clubs, just off the street, sending their auditions in on iPhones and all the rest of it. And there was a moment when we had in the room Otto, and we also had Brennick O'Connor, and we had Ronky, who plays Jack. And we knew, everybody in the room knew at that moment, that it wasn't just Otto, it was the three of them together. Otto obviously is a very handsome young man and a great actor. He has a fantastic resume already, and he's um, you know, physically very fit and all the rest of it. But it was the three of them together and the interaction that persuaded us that we knew exactly we had the right cast. Well, now, Otto, I'm going to jump to you, because I'd love to hear what aspect of Alex's character you relate to the most and why. Um, I will probably answer that with two, because, uh, I mean, I relate to a few of them. Um, and and um, when we made the series, I talked to, a lot to the director, Andreas Prochaska, uh, about bringing as much of myself to the role as possible. Um, so for me, I think the sort of steely determination that Alex has, that he, he, no matter what challenge he's faced with, he, you know, he's going to climb that mountain. He's going to do it. Um, I have that, but I also have, you know, a sensitivity to me and I have, I have a vulnerability as well, which I think, I don't think, I think what makes Alex such a great character is you have to question whether he, you know, at times if he's, it's going to happen, you know, you, you, you trust that it's going to happen, but there has to be some sense of doubt. Otherwise, you know, where's the, where's the conflict? Where's, where's, you, you know, I don't know. For, so for me, those, both, both those things were, were what was, yeah, great. So one of the things that struck me as I was watching the TV series, uh, the, new, the new series, is that Alex interacts with so many different people. Like he kind of bounces from his home to the friends, to the school. Um, mm. And I'd love for both of you to weigh in here. Who would you say has the most interesting dynamic with Alex and why? Ooh, the most interesting dynamic, probably Yasin, no? Maybe, maybe. That's a good answer. That's a really good answer. Maybe Yasin, because there's, the, there's a few scenes in the series where you're like, they, well, I don't want to spoil it, but that, that's a strange dynamic, I think. Um, I don't know, Anthony, what do you think? Oh, well, I think Yasin is a really good place to start. Great performance by Thomas Levin. I mean, he is both deadly and he is really interesting. And there's something obviously in their back history. But I'd also put a shout out there for Brennick O'Connor, who plays Tom, because in the books, he's a tiny part. He has maybe two or three lines. But Brennick O'Connor has turned him into this really almost iconic character. And the friendship between the two of them on the screen, when the boys are on the screen together, Otto and Brennick, you've just got to keep watching. It's something really fun and, and, and enjoyable about those two performances. So I'd also like you both to weigh in on uh, a, a moment or a scene that you were just particularly excited for people to see. Like, what what is the one thing that you're just waiting for that audience reaction? Um, I had, I had a, a couple. Um, I would say, obviously the snowboarding scene, which is which is iconic, you know. Everyone knows that. Um, so I was excited to see that's brought to life. But but for me, um, there's a scene where Alex is being tortured in episode two, um, and he manages to escape. And that was it was I, I had a lot of fun making that with Howard Charles. It was terrifying. Um, so I was I was excited to see that come to life and see what people thought. So there's that one as well. Um, and for my answer to that is I absolutely, of course, the, the ironing board, snowboard chase, it is the most important scene in the book. I said, you can only adapt my book if you film that and film it properly, which they did. But I'd also add to that, um, I absolutely love Otto, or I should say Alex's first meeting with Blunt. It is just so fabulous the way he's dragged into MI6 and all these spies are getting coming onto him and he holds his own against them. I just think he, it's just a great moment in the show. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's a good answer. That's good. So it looks like I have time for only one more question. So I'd like to leave on this note, and that would be, what do you hope viewers take away from this show once uh, once season one is wrapped? That they want more. 
That's such a good answer, Otto. Exactly. We want season two. This is such a roller coaster ride. Why does it have to stop now? What happens next? What's going to happen to Alex next? All right. Excellent. Thank you both so much for your time. Good luck with Thank the you. launch and have a lovely afternoon. Thank you. Yeah. Lovely talking to you. Thanks for reading me as well. Yeah.